As winter begins and cold weather sets in, the talk at the Paris climate meetings this week is not about freezing temperatures, but about heat, global heat. 14 of the 15 warmest years on record have occurred since the year 2000. And 2015 is on pace to be the warmest year of all. Not just on pace, 2015 is blowing past all the other years for record heat, promising to be the hottest year by far. Spring and summer 2015 were their hottest on record respectively, and eight of the 10 months so far this year have been record hot. In fact, just last week, the Climate Central-led World Weather Attribution Program, along with the University of Reading, found that even though El Nino is playing a role in this year's record heat, Human-caused global warming is overwhelmingly the primary driver. The data and the knowledge will win out in the end, and that we're already beginning to see the transition where the evidence about climate change, about people's role in it, and about the things we can do to address it is really irrefutable, and it's time to move on and solve the problem. On behalf of the environment. The mission of world leaders and policymakers at this UN climate change conference is to reach an agreement that would eventually stop the trend of record hot year after record hot year. There's absolutely no question this is a serious issue and it's an issue we need to do something about. I think what's really encouraging is that in Paris and around the world we're seeing countries, cities, businesses pull together to really see what can be done and where there are opportunities to be a part of the leadership to change the direction of society. For that to happen, dramatic cuts in emissions need to be made to limit warming below 2 degrees Celsius or roughly 3.5 degrees Fahrenheit. I hear increasing support. But the general message from speakers during week one of this two-week summit is that there is hope, yet a sense of urgency, in reaching that goal. In Paris, I'm Chief Meteorologist Bernadette Woods-Plackey.